After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kamsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Kamsky was just playing with me. He didn't know anything. Why did Kamsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. Did Kemsky design this place? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the Deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? I know we're on the right side. Humans created us. They're our masters. No machine should rebel against its creator. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. You're wrong, Lieutenant. It was logic that determined my decisions, nothing more. I know it hasn't always been easy, but I want you to know I really appreciated working with you. And that's not just my social relations program talking, I, I really mean that. At least, I think I do. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask.
key to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Perkins, you fucking cocksucker. <gasps> Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I'm registering the evidence in my possession. But don't worry. I'm going to leave. Though I'm certainly going to miss our bromance. You son of a bitch! This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Marcus, where are you hiding?
Can you hear me? Your diary, Rupert. You encrypted it. I need to know what you wrote. this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. They did not hang around. We have a bus to catch.
immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your Android. Under no circumstances should you try to destroy your Android yourself. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. The Android won't do any harm. The cops just gun them down. Conducting rage across the city. Androids were all along the road would have to happen. And then the police arrived and they opened fire. No, We've got to do something. We can't just stand by and let them slaughter people, us. People who want to be free. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces and the army have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Crowell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out for the moment. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. 
You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. The androids weren't doing any harm. And the cops just gunned them down. It was sheer carnage. There were androids all over the square. And when the police arrived, they, they opened fire. They ignored their own machines, but they, they looked like just people. Like people who want to be free. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military animals. He needs blue blood! Now that you know she's one of us, Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. We're short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. It's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war, but I'd rather die free than live as a slave. Your television speech sounded like a declaration of war. Violence only leads to more violence. You reap what you sow! Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus?
Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, to give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. I'll go join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. but I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Yes, you can shoot me, but it won't change anything. Someone else will just take my place. You see, our people are waking up and nothing can stop us now. You're coming with me. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom.
Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Mark it. I won't be long. Don't move! You 
shouldn't have done that. You can't put Alice in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I'll manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. I'll catch them through the border, okay? Go now, take care of each other. Others. Uh. 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 
Marcus. Bomb's gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. we can do for her. We've got to run. an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. Sitting over, Marcus. I don't want to shed blood, whatever the color. But I can't let them slaughter us. I have to make a decision that is going to affect millions of lives. But I don't know what to do. I miss you, Carl. <laughs> I miss you so much.
They say they don't want to take any risks with the deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. What's your system status? I'm okay. Bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. Whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. My fault, the humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me.
I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. I know, I know you're all angry, and I know you want to fight back, but I assure you violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice, and if there's any humanity in them, they will listen, and if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? <laughs> 